us, now that we've had the chance to talk through PREPA's strengths and weakness, wanted to take the opportunity and talk through their opportunities and threats. So of course they, they have some big opportunities that they need to be able to go through. One of the items that I really wanted to highlight, as I mentioned in the previous slide, is their issues with the CEO. My recommendation due to some of the political issues and other issues was would be to really look at revamping and hire a CEO from outside the area that can come in and really truly help them with open eyes, understand how business runs, and not necessarily be tied to even Puerto Rico. Look at opportunities of CEOs from elsewhere um, and make sure there's no you know political agenda tied to it. That goes with the new strategy. You hire a CEO, they'll come in with fresh eyes, have that new strategy. And we're gonna talk about strategy a little bit further uh, here in the presentation and what some of those strategies can look like coming up here next. Additional energy options, we talked about those renewable energies. Um, they really need to be able to look at that uh, more closely. Again, part of that new strategy, I, I think will help with a lot of this. They need to collaborate with the government and make sure some of the issues that they've had with the latest hurricanes, um, that it not happen again, right? There, there are some things that there, there could be improvements on. And I'm really looking you know, to hope that PREPA can, can look at those opportunities and learn from them, collaborating with the government to see what other options are out there. Uh, goes with the next one as well. They have they had partnerships with other people. Some of them have, have failed them and has made them lose money along the way as well. So hopefully developing new partnerships with external, external organizations will help with some of these opportunities that they have. They need to modernize uh, across their platforms. Their, their infrastructure is severely outdated. So they really need to take the opportunity and increase their modernization. It's a high opportunity that they have. And it was really highlighted with the months and months that people from Puerto Rico have gone after the hurricane. So really it's a high opportunity. It's a, it's a well needed opportunity that they have. One of the threats that right now they're currently, we talked about as the only provider in Puerto Rico. Well, external competitors are considered moving into the area and it's looking at becoming mandated. Right now, again, they're, they're regulated. They wanna look at deregulation and see if there's an opportunity for some of those competitors. It's a threat to them. And, and obviously the revenue that they earn, that 3.2 billion we talked about, it's gonna allow the, the competitors to come in and open up in that market. Now, I talked about on an opportunity, it's definitely a threat. They have outdated infrastructure. They're struggling right now because they don't have the infrastructure and design that they need. Um, the natural disasters that they ha have had will continue to be a threat to them as being in, in an island that is a path of hurricanes quite often, quite frankly. That'll continue to be a threat. Uh, increased government involvement also uh, is a big deal as I talked about, they're looking at competitors coming in. The government is looking to potentially mandate so that the inefficiencies and, and that they've had and, and struggles that they have had can be rectified for the future as well.